you. Muko salama, femin kopoa. Um, today, come up with a story, another story. Since ni mone nyum na penda ma story. By the way, you people love stories. And I mean, what's, what's wrong with telling stories? So, this is another story about my high school shenanigans. So, let's get to it. <laughs> I was I think I've I've always been so lucky not really lucky I think I've always like portrayed um, some leadership skills in high school even in primary to a point where I like and I also have this thing that I'm so social like I'm so social with people I talk to people I mean I'm nice so I tend to like get the privileges of being a prefect or yeah so back in high school, like we never used to call them prefect, go to Nawaitanga, Senator, Governor, the way the new government is. And so when I when you in high school, I I imagine I became a prefect in form one second term, or it was third term. Yes, I like I took over my mother. My mother is in the person who was taking care of me. This is your mom, this is your grandma. So I like my mom at that time, I can't give it. should look for her. I miss her. She's a very really nice lady. I took over her as an assistant prefect for the for the meantime because I was the prefect. I became an assistant prefect for the biggest dorm in my high school. It was called Venus. Oh my God, it was big. Like, and then it had a mix of before before then when I when I entered school when I entered high school when I entered where direct translation <laughs> when you're in your high school they had not like made it um not just squeeze it it's like most high school like for months have their dorm from two has their dorm from three like that but at that time we could share the dormitory like all of us so you could imagine you're leading all like students from all forms from one from two from three from four and it's, it can be hard but i mean if you got the skills you got this so Second time, uh, second time you become an assistant prefect until um, form four. Imagine I was a prefect all along. Kafika form four, um, I started rubbing shoulders with our our deputy prefect, our deputy, our school deputy. She didn't like me. You know those people who just who just doesn't like you for a reason. Any mudo na zaku kwa na tu aseme. Kana mudo makupua. I I swear. Till date, I'm still asking myself, what exactly did I do to make her hate me that much? I, I've never come up with a reason why she hated me that much. To a point where I turned into come corner class because she used to teach us Kiswahili. I could become corner. I'm sorry about that. I could become corner to answer a, a question. You know how kwana ni how kwana ni pick. You know how shameful that can be. You know how embarrassing that can be. Most especially with teenagers, students in a class. It's very embarrassing and it hurts. It's hurting. There's other sick jellies or zingine. There's this one time that made me really, really feel bad. I was sick. Me, I, my knees normally hurt when it's cold. On cold season, my knees hurt. They tend to, they get swollen. I don't know. I, I don't know. And this time, nilikuwa na umakuli na meguzi. Kwa zimafura. So you see the way students are like, uh, when they see a deputy prefect, a deputy principal, they tend to run. I don't know. So, my my knees were hurting. I couldn't run. Like you can't. What are you faking your high school? This one, I couldn't run. I was in pain. So, she called me. I went. You know what she told me? At why you not running? I was like, I explained to her, I was like, I'm not feeling well. My knees hurt. My, the nurse even knows about it, and the principal knows about it, cause I mean, it has gotten to her, cause I think she needs to approve the fact that when someone needs to go out for uh, medication or maybe at school or outside the school for medication, the principal needs to know. He, she knows about it. She told me, uh, has it gotten to a point now? You started faking and lying to me. I'm like. 
why would I lie about sickness? Because me, at all, first of all, I hate being sick. Secondly, I hate dawa. Like, I could say, trust me, you, I'll, I'll sober up, I'll be okay. In a few minutes. I'm like, I'm even, I wish I tell it was a stomach ache or even a headache. I'm talking about my niece, they hurt. She's like, I'm lying. She said a couple of hurtful things that they hurt me, but then. I just I just went to class, I cried and I yoy Kaisha. Then Ikafika, you know, we were almost imagine it was about three weeks to KCSE for us to do our exam. Apparently my friends had phones in school. Like you and Kawaida kunam you'll be like like someone who like swear that they know of a school that students don't have a phone, especially from phones, would be lying. We had, uh, not, my friends had a phone. It wasn't my phone. Let's start with that. And, um, unanavanyoneza jua kitu alafuwe ni prefix and then you have three weeks to go as in manze, you don't want to rub shoulders with anyone. Ustaki stress, stress, ukwana says is, how are you going to do that exam? How are you going to come out successful and umepita kwa your exam? That's what my head was at. And then, uh now the head girl came to know about it later on akakuja kujua that somehow i knew about it i don't know who told her that i knew about it but she knew that i knew about it so i think she's the one who went forward and said that there's some people who have fun and apparently said there's some prefects that know about it that are not saying anything about it and she went ahead and told them that it's me who knows about it and I haven't said anything and I'm like it's none of my business can you mean you watch man no mimi ni mimi sasa nianze like during the prefect during that period of me being a prefect I, I was neutral I didn't want to be on the teacher's side didn't want to be on the student's side because you know why same case these are the teachers that are going to teach you and these are the teachers that you're going to give ideas on how to help the students um grow and how we're gonna make a comfortable environment for the students the same way i'm going to sleep with the students i'm studying with the students if anything happens man said this one will kill me and this one will kill me so i was just like nilikuwa kalonzo nilikuwa nga watamelo and i was there but it used to work for me so perfectly but at the same time i know my friends i could tell my friends you know what whatever you're doing is not right and you should like correct whatever you're doing and for for what for easy governing of i don't know how to put it but yes don't make it hard for me since you're my friends don't make it hard for me but they respect to that and my friends were so cool they could be like so loud and everything but they were so good the same way as i was okay with the teachers so i never really wanted to rely on which side sana so when she called me and she was like you knew about it blah 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 obviously you have to cover up for yourself i'm like I didn't know about it. Yes, I lied, but the lying could have helped. You know, that one could have helped, by the way. But guess what? I and the other students that I had a phone, and even more that I didn't know about, like Ile Zingino na Fumashuka, we were suspended at 6 p.m. in the evening. First of all, we got beaten so badly and got suspended and then when i got home my mom wasn't talking to me my dad was the one who was he was at least on the own yeah you get it my dad was like i remember my dad told me eh, being suspended in high school it's something let's let's call it almost normal to some to some parents or to some people it's normal most especially if it's something that you didn't like like who kufanya manze i wasn't using the phone it's not me who had the phone and even if i use like kuna to vitu zingine they use so what he told me like an encouragement that my dad told me don't you feel better is he also got suspended in high school for beating a cook because alikuwa anamuonea sana alikuwa anampea chakula kidogo so but my mom never talked to me for a whole one week then the next week we were supposed to spend another one week at home than to Rodishule. We didn't. Um I think was it my dad or there's another parent who called the school and complained about it. And that's when we went back to school. And when we went back to school, 
I let me talk for myself. I got beaten in front of my mom. I lied down. It's it gets me emotional living I do I know because watching my mom cry made me feel so bad. I still have those marks on my back and on my If there are schools that still beat up their students, you should stop this. You should stop. Had to beat me in front of my mom. My mom was there. She wanted to stop it. Like, like no, you're beating like mom piga sana and stuff and stuff. I was beaten. My back was on like on fire, literally. I was beaten in front of my mom. That thing still hurts me so much. It hurts me so bad. And then after that, we still went up ahead and do punishment. We did punishment for a whole another week. <sighs> yeah, that's my story for being suspended. It's supposed to be funny, but it's sad. But and that teacher who told me that I'll never amount to anything. Check me out. <laughs> Watch the glory of God. Watch the grace of God being sufficient to me every single time. Look at me. Look at where I'm heading. I'm heading Nayenda Mbali Sana. I'm going to be become someone so big and I'm going to amount to so much more. Yeah, I hope you'll watch it because. <sighs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. For those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe. For those who feel like sharing, please do share comment and like the video thank you so much for watching and thank you for the support love you all bye